Now, as much as I just want to jump off the Empire State Building and proceed to swing through New York City, I just don't trust my engineering that much. <laughs> now, if I'm really going to be making Spider-Man's web shooters, they should be able to do the following. Shoot off my wrist, latch onto a surface, be strong enough for me to swing from, and have a mechanism so I can release. Besides the super strength, super endurance, super agility, super reaction time, and spider sense, I'm pretty much Spider-Man. First thing my web shooter needs to do is, well, shoot. So to do that, I want to make the whole system spring-loaded. Now we could just use compressed gas in the form of a CO2 canister. This is almost what they use in the movies, and for other YouTubers who've tried this project, this is what they've used. The thing about compressed gas, though, is even though it's powerful, Huh? Why is it so quiet? It should have been a little bit. It runs out very quickly, but a spring on the other hand has elasticity, meaning I won't have to replace it as often as I would a CO2 canister. Now that I know I'm using springs for this project, I can take all that potential energy and turn it into some sort of spring-loaded firing mechanism. So this is a firing mechanism. It consists of about three parts. The trigger that allows it to shoot the projectile, the barrel which holds the springs, and the velcro straps which tie it to my wrist. I'll tell you why the barrel looks so weird in a second. Now even though this design is generally unconventional, it's pretty simple. You take a tube and then you take a spring that could fit over that tube, no problem. And now you could take a tube with a bigger diameter than the blue tube, but a smaller diameter than the spring. This allows you to slide it over the top and use all the potential energy of that spring without getting the friction from the tube. The trigger actually works with this pin in the back. When I pull down on the trigger, the pin goes down, which means whatever's being compressed by the spring right now gets to shoot off. The spring underneath the trigger actually keeps the pin up, so as I slide over the projectile, it'll automatically lock in place. So in the movies, it seems like Spider-Man's webs can stick to virtually anything, but this thing doesn't exactly shoot webs. So let's look at some other physical alternatives that'll allow us to swing similar to the way he does. So I think it's safe to assume Spider-Man's webs work similarly to an adhesive. So, you take a rope and you take some glue. Easy, right? Well, not so much. If my web shooters can't stick to objects, why can't they just pierce them? Something like a nail would be perfect for this. It could stick through most metals, plastics, and wood. Unfortunately for this system, the same type of force that's used to take out a nail normally is going to be the same force that wants to take out the nail while I'm swinging. Now, to get around these issues, I'm going to need something that's reliable, but still gives me a wide range of things to swing from. And I think that's going to be a grappling hook. Grappling hooks are a lot more sturdy than a nail or some glue, and they still give me the freedom of movement I need to swing. Now this test grappling hook is great, but it's not going to hold my weight. Let's make something bigger, sturdier, and compatible with the firing range. Now we got the grappling hook. It's going to be holding my weight off of this steel bar that I bent through the side and then bent into place. It's secured a little bit more with some JB Weld and once this is finished drying it should completely solidify this top region. On the bottom here we have a noose knot that's actually attached to the shaft of the grappling hook. I chose this type of knot because the tighter I pull on it the more it's actually going to tighten onto the shaft. It should relieve some tension off of a rope since that's where most ropes tend to break. And finally on the bottom we have a hole here that allows access to the rest of the shaft when I'm sliding it over the original mechanism. Now let's talk about what I'm actually going to be swinging from. Of course I'm going to be swinging from the grappling hook, but the grappling hook needs to attach to my arm somehow. For that, I'm going to be using a Kevlar cord. Now first of all, Kevlar is insanely strong. You can bring it up to super high tensions and have no stretching. It's also extremely abrasion resistant. I can barely cut it with these sheet metal scissors. But Kevlar isn't this magic material with no drawbacks. It is extremely abrasive and painful to hold. I need to make something that can attach to my arm, but is almost like an external arm, so I don't have to put all the force in my hand, but I can still have something to hold on to while I'm swinging. But I already made it. I forgot to get any footage of me making it though, so I guess I'll just have to make another one. We're gonna start with this bag. Oh, that's too big. Come on. We're gonna start off with this bag. Metal spring, iron, pushing through pliers, hammer, scissors, tape, and firing mechanism. And uh Pick it up a bit, and voila, a brand new place. Now I actually learned this trick from another YouTuber, Jay Laser Video. You can 
wrap a rope several times around a tube and the friction will actually hold it in place. So with this tiny amount of force I'm applying here, it's able to stop my whole hand from yanking this rope off the pipe. But the second I let go, it all comes undone. And that's basically how my arm brace is gonna be working. I'll be able to wrap the rope through this hoop a couple times. And now when my hand comes through, I can close it on the loop and all the force over here can't actually undo the spool. Okay, let's do this one more time. I just built Spider-Man's web shooters. They're able to shoot off my wrist, attach to other objects. I'm able to swing from it and it has a mechanism so I can release. And with all that said, I guess it's time to go test. Yep. Oh, you want, you want me to test it? Nah, this thing's gonna tear my arm off. I'm gonna let this guy do it.